Merry Christmas, everybody! Yeah. Say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Yeah, Merry Christmas! video. I know I had initially said we'll be doing seven videos. Literally Cake Miss took over my life all month of December. I actually started Cake Miss early December and today is actually December 23rd. This video will go up tomorrow. So I actually baked. I'm about to decorate. Gonna edit and have this video up for you guys tomorrow. So yeah, in the process of baking, decorating, editing, recording, momming, all of that, Cake Miss just flew by. And it is now the 23rd. Still working on Cake Miss day six. So yeah, this will actually be the last video for Cake Miss. So we're gonna be doing a Christmas tree cake, aka a cone. Fun fact, I've never ever done a tree cake or like a cake shaped out of cone so this should be interesting for all of you guys who have kept up with cake miss since day one all the way till now day six thank you guys so so much and i hope you guys have been enjoying them also if you have recreated any of my past cake miss videos or cupcakes do not forget to tag me on my instagram or on my twitter so i can go ahead and show you guys some love and retweet you guys or repost you guys and on this video there will also be a giveaway just like on my past cake miss videos it'll be five winners 100 dollars each all you have to do to enter is follow my Instagram and leave any comment you want down below as well as your Instagram handle and your cash app or PayPal so I can go ahead and send you your money. And like I'm telling you guys, this video will actually be going up December the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you guys who do celebrate. I hope you guys are all surrounded with your family and loved ones. And a shout out to all of you guys who are binge watching Cake Miss right now on either Christmas or New Year's Eve around your family. Okay, so now to get on to my Christmas tree cake. Okay, so for this cake, I went ahead and baked six sheet cakes. Honestly, I'm not too sure on how much cake or how much of the bread I'm actually going to use. Like I was telling you guys, I've never made a, a cone cake or like a Christmas tree shaped cake before. So um, I'd rather que me sobrara, que me faltara, especially last minute here recording with you guys. And considering that today's the 23rd, so I have a day to get this going, decorate it and edit it. So basically, I was trying to kind of brainstorm on how I could do kind of like a cone shaped cake. Were they coming out as coney? I don't know if that's the word, but were they coming out as coney as I could get it? So I came up with this idea. So I basically went ahead and cut out circles with wax paper. So this one is the 10 inch, I already labeled them. 10 inch, nine inch, eight inch, all the way down to four inches. So I'm gonna be cutting out my circles four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just so I can get them as coney as I can. And then from there, just shape off the bread. So let me show you guys what I mean. This in my head makes sense. Uh, once I actually get to cutting out the cake and the bread and everything, hopefully it comes out the way I imagine it because it's my first time. Okay guys, so my biggest circle is going to be a 10 inch. So here is my wax template. I went ahead and put my toothpicks so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut around my sheet cake. Okay, then right on top of the 10, I was gonna do the nine, but it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the eight inch. Okay, now I'm going to do the nine inch, six, five, and seven. I'm gonna put a little bit of frosting on the board as always. So I put a little bit of frosting in the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and start my tree with a 10 inch. And then in between every layer, I'm going to be putting some more buttercream. Okay, so now that I reached the top, I only had a template for up uh, up until five inches. 
So these that are kind of like a three, two inch and like a little one inch, just to make this pointy. I kind of just, um, how do you call it? Air eyeing it? No. Eyeballing. Eyeballing it um, as far as the sizing. Also, I was gonna put some board right here for support, but I feel like because the cake is very light, um, and it's not like a super tall cake. I think it'll be fine as far as like the weight on the cake. So yeah, this is so far what it's looking like as far as the bread. I'm still gonna go ahead and carve this out so it is as uh, cone shaped as I can get it. And then of course, we're still gonna go ahead and pipe it um, and crepe coat it. So let me go ahead and clean up this whole bread mess I made around me. But I think my whole idea might be working. So here, I'm just gonna try and shave it off a little bit just to try and make them all meet like this. And we don't have the stairs. Okay, now that I went ahead and carved down my cake, I'm gonna do a very quick cleanup and then I'll be back to crumb coat. Okay guys, my frosting is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and crumb coat this. My bread, I did not freeze it. I wish I would have, especially for a cake like this, just so the cake is not too soft and it's not warm, it's completely cooled, but just so the cake is not so soft. So I'm gonna be careful as I crumb coat it and then we're gonna go ahead and pipe it into a tree. So to crumb coat it, I am going to just use my piping bag and my frosting tip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go around my whole cake. Again, this is the crumb coat. We're still gonna pipe it. So if a lot of the crumbs do come out, it'll be fine. Okay, so now that I covered it up with my piping tip, I'm gonna go in with my spatula and just try to get this as smooth as I can get it before I go in and pipe up the actual tree. So the actual tree is not gonna be this light green, it's going to be like a true green. Um, this was just for the crumb coat. Okay, now that my frosting is as smooth as I can get it, I'm just gonna do a quick clean up my board and actually put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes just so the bread and the frosting really, really sits. But for now, I think 20 minutes will do. So I have my green buttercream and my tip Wilton 1M. I also put the tie at the end. That way I have more control of the pressure down here and my hand does not get as tired. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe around the whole Christmas tree. Now to add some ornaments, I'm also gonna add a little bit of snow and also a couple of little, how do you call it, little things? Little knickknacks? Knick like little knickknacks that I bought um, to add to our Christmas tree. So I went ahead and bought these stars right here. And you can go ahead and make the star out of fondant if you can find, you know, just a little star cake topper. I still happen to find these. It does come with like other colors. But I will be using the traditional yellow star and I'll go ahead and pop this right on top. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and grab my little mini sifter, which I had actually been looking for and wanted to use in my past Cake Miss videos. Um, and I couldn't find it. But yeah, for this last grand finale, I found my mini one. And then to this, I'll go ahead and sift some powdered sugar. And then and I'm gonna go ahead and make it snow on my Christmas tree. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a little bit more extra down on my board. Okay, I also got these little sugar candy canes and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop some of these in as well as my little bolitas, their little colorful beads all around my Christmas tree. And this will be like the spheres of the tree. Okay, I also got 
these little ornaments they're actually little bell ornaments these are not edible so right before you cut the cake you just go ahead and remove whatever's not edible for example the star and these little ornaments these will just give the cake a little bit more pop of color and they're bigger of course this is something that you can also do with your kids and put as many or as little as you guys want This one is just the Santa with the reindeer and this one that says Merry Christmas. I was going to place them both kind of like this, but I'm kind of tempted to just put the Santa Claus. I feel like this just makes more sense. I'm literally 50-50, so comment down below which one I should have done. However, I think I'm going to go with just the Santa Claus. I feel like it just wraps it all together. And I mean, that looks cute too, but... I say just Santa. Just Santa, huh? It says Merry Christmas, like let people know that it's Merry Christmas. But the fact that it's a Christmas tree mm -hmm. is already like a Merry Christmas. Yeah. I just want to make my point across. <laughs> okay, we decided to go with uh, just a Santa. Comment down below if you guys would have added the Merry Christmas or not. I'm gonna just make a little gap right here on my sugar. And then with my hot glue gun, add a tiny bit to this. And then just pop it on my board. Okay, to cover up the glue, I'll go back with a little bit of sugar. And I think this might be one of my favorites. It's very much Christmas. And that completes my last Cakemas video, a Christmas tree. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed Cakemas. And I did answer this on Cakemas day one, but a lot of you guys were still asking what I do with so much cake and just all the cakes that I bake. So they all go to friends and family. My parents are business owners. So my mom will usually come for my cakes and share it with all the employees. So yeah, my cakes never go to waste. There is always somebody who will eat them. If it's not friends and family, it's friends and family of my friends and family. And the last word before we say goodbye for Cake Miss. We're done with Cake Miss. We're done with Cake Miss. Okay, what do you think of my last cake, Miss Cake? It's amazing. Very much Christmas. The icing on the cake. It's, it's like the traditional, traditional cake. So I saved the Christmas cake to be the last one because I'm like, it's a Christmas tree. Like, it's such a traditional thing for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and we'll see you on our next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy holidays. Baby, what do you think about my Christmas tree cake that I made you? <coughs> do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man?